Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I'm going to show you this gorgeous glitter peekaboo greeting. Look at how fabulous this is with that glitter center and when you open it you'll see that the glitter is actually on the card front. Isn't that just gorgeous? and it peeks through and it's just oh so shiny and fabulous, but yet you can still see that greeting popping through. I love, love, love it. I got this idea when I went to a demonstrator event and I am so excited I couldn't wait to try it out myself. So let's get started on how I did this. First I took a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock and this measures four and a quarter by 11 and I folded it in half. I also took a piece of Marina Mist cardstock, and this measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I used the largest circle from the layering circles framelits, and I just die cut that out. And that can really go wherever you want it. You don't want it to go too high because you want a nice little border, but you also don't want it to go too low so that you have room for your uh, image down there. So I just uh, die cut that out. Then I simply placed it on top of my blue with that nice little layer all around, and using a pencil I drew a little circle. So then using that circle as my guide, I don't know how well you can see that circle, um, but I used the largest of the scallop circle framelits uh, with the layering ovals, or I'm sorry, layering circles, the scallop one, and I placed it right in there. And you can see that the pencil lines are about where each of these little bumps are. So you can see that it's in there. Of course, when you run this through the big shot, you wanna make sure it's open um, so that you're not actually cutting both the front and the back of your your card front. So now we have this and we have this. So there is our front mechanism for our card. Now for that amazing glitter piece, what I did is I took a three and a half inch square of, I needed two of the adhesive sheets. So I have two three and a half inch squares of the adhesive sheets and two three and a half inch squares of window sheet. So, of course, it's clear. There you go, you can see the shine there um, of the window sheet. So two of the window sheet and two of the adhesive squares, and I simply peeled off the back of the window, or I'm sorry, of the adhesive square and attached it to the window sheet. So that was uh, a little nerve wracking, so I went ahead and I did that prior to um, jumping on here. So now I have the, um, the adhesive sheet stuck to the window sheet, and I uh, have some dazzling diamonds in this container here. So let's push this stuff all aside. So here's my dazzling diamonds in, um, in the container with a little spoon, and I'm simply going to peel off that adhesive sheet revealing the sticky, and now I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter all over it, or press it down into it. So now we're done with the glitter, and I will bring back in this piece, and now we're just going to take the other uh, window sheet, peel off the adhesive back, and place it right on top. This is now going to secure your glitter so there's no glittery mess on uh, your card or anything. Of course, there's a little bit here. And now, to assemble the card, we're just going to place that in between. But first, I'm going to stamp the inside. So, I'm going to leave my card nice and open here, and I have a piece of Whisper White. This measures four inches by five and a quarter, and it goes right in the center with a nice little border, and then I'm just going to close my card front. Then using the greeting from the Carols of Christmas stamp set, which is this one here, I'm going to use that fabulous little piece on earth as well as the little squiggle. You wanna use the one that has a little angle to it because the greeting piece on earth has an angle. The straight across one goes for the Deck the Halls greeting. So I'm going to stamp the piece on earth in Marina Mist, which is the same as uh, that cardstock that we're using on the front. And I'm just going to center it and stamp it in the middle of that circle. 
fabulous. So now, of course, we can pull it back out and finish with those little squiggles. I didn't adhere it down first, uh, just in case I made a boo-boo. So now we can adhere that to the inside. And for the front, now we'll simply just take some snail adhesive and add it all along the edge there as well as then placing our glitter over that hole. And then I simply used Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere this down. So I just placed Stampin' Dimensionals all around the edges as well as a few in the middle. And then this simply goes right over the top. And now you have that gorgeous peekaboo greeting in there. Of course, I still need to adhere the inside piece and add my little decoration. The decoration I used um, uses the Carols of Christmas stamp set and then, of course, the card front builder framelits. So I used the little deer to cut that out and then, of course, the trees that I did in Whisper White. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I just love that glitter center there and I love that it's nice and contained so I don't have to worry about it flaking off or getting all over me. I love, love, love it. Super fun and simple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and try it out yourself. Glitter is always fun to use during the holiday season. Of course, I'll be posting pictures of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new by clicking over there, and be sure to check out other tempting technique videos over here. I'll see you all next time. Next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.